I'm not buying Animal Crossing. I'm not buying the game. I'm not buying it. I've been lucky enough to be working from home to be able to pay my bills, but I am not buying Animal Crossing. I am not. Welcome everyone to the first day of Animal Crossing. I've never played an Animal Crossing game before. I've never really been interested in it. I don't like that. I actually didn't look up anything about the game, like what you do or nothing. I just jumped right into it. I ended up on my own little island. I tried to call it File Island, but there wasn't enough space and I didn't want to give up the space in between File and Island, so I just called it Henshin. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Common Rider lately. I had to help my two neighbors figure out where to put their own tent as if they're not grown adults themselves. Are they not adults or are they children? I don't know. And I became representative of the island. I didn't sign up for any of this. But Tom was just like, you seem like you can make decisions. We're giving it to you as a job. I see this man hand me a bill and go, here's all your travel expenses. What? Made, we made this agreement where I could pay him off in like nook miles by like picking up trash and you, you know selling stuff and saying hi to the neighbors which all right I, I, I guess I'm working now inside my little tent was a radio and a lamp and I knew I shouldn't have left the radio on while I slept because this dog with a Guitar visited me in my dreams, and when I woke up, it was his song playing on the radio is a bit eerie to me. And then I attempted to fish twice. I don't know how long it takes to fish, but in Pokemon, it's like two seconds. I stood there trying to fish at least twice. That didn't work out. Maybe because I have a flimsy fishing rod? I don't know. We're gonna get to the good part, which, uh, which is the... <laughs> clothing slash pixel generator thing that you kind of make and work on yourself um i spent like 30 minutes maybe 40 minutes trying to make this common rider w shirt and it's awful the belt is an atrocity <laughs> the more i like put on it the worse it looked on the screen with the with the pixels on it it doesn't look that bad and then you look over at the actual piece of clothing you're like that's a piece of garbage what am i doing but nonetheless i got at some miles by just making my first design so my crappy common rider shirt which i named appropriately bad that gives me miles to pay off my debt to this to this tanuki thing I've been appropriately uh, playing Animal Crossing for nine days now. We have successfully built one bridge and a second one is in progress, which I paid off today. We have a store. We have an actual, was it a visitor representative services now, an actual building for that. And Isabel has joined our team. Every morning I get a phone call from Timmy and Tommy telling me that they put my money in my bank account because I always end up shoving a bunch of items in the store box after hours and then after that phone call I go on to watering my flowers. One of my favorite things in the game is catching these peacock butterflies. Peacock butterflies are worth a pretty amount of bells so I always 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 catch them whenever I see them and then I sell them to Timmy and Tommy because bells. My favorite villager is Skye. She was the first one I met on like a random island and I asked her to come to my island. I love her. She's really sweet. She's she's so cute. I have Cranston who has bug friends all the time. He freaks me out. Um, there's also Puddles who wants to be a singer slash celebrity. She kind of gets on my nerves a little bit, but she doesn't say the same things like Tammy does say to me sometimes, so she's okay. I also built this nice little uh, bamboo forest garden. Last night I stayed up till 1 a.m. to make this little area, which was actually ended up being pretty nice. I got a little gift, which was a samurai wig, and uh, I I knew I wasn't gonna wear it, but I knew Justin might like it. So the game has a cool little thing where you go and see a little airport. If you go by like the postcards area, you can send a postcard and attach a gift to it. So I thought I'm gonna send this off to Justin today, sent it off, and it was great because he ended up visiting my island today and we ended up doing a little photo shoot in my little bamboo forest setup. It was really nice 
Um, it was kind of difficult because some of my bamboo trees were in the way, so I had to move some of them. I know we were doing this photo shoot in front of his house. This bird Cranston. Several times he decided to walk in the middle of the camera and look around, and I'm just like, Cranston, please, please move, please, just move. Cranston. Twice I ended up using this little, like, imperial, uh, cover thing and, and blocked off people from coming into my island or going into my room and I keep forgetting I can't move things when people are visiting, so my bad. But yeah, I found out you can use your mini fridge to um, change your clothes? What? I've gotten a lot better at making clothing as well. I made two Digimon, actually three, two Cyber Sleuth shirts, one uh, tie shirt and a hat with goggles on it. This cute little like bug hoodie that looks really good if you change the different palettes too. This special Digi Egg hoodie just for bunny day events. This uh, robe because Justin gave me this fox mask, which is apparently kind of rare. I also learned how to fish. You know, there's gotta be a shadow there so that you can actually fish for stuff. Why didn't I think of that before? I think I've come a long way for nine days of <laughs> Playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> I think it's pretty cute. I think it's a good game. I mean, if you're interested in land building, landscaping, island ventures, uh, you even get to use a, a ticket to go fly to any random island. That's cool. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, I think Animal Crossing's for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!